Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. A protest is planned ahead of tonight's school board meeting in Bedford. Some parents want the superintendent to resign. They're upset over a rise in violence at the school that's led to a return to remote learning. Parents say efforts to address problems should have started months ago. Tonight's school board meeting starts at 6. As of now, students are scheduled to return to the classroom on November 29th. Akron Public School Superintendent will meet with the teachers union next week to talk about inappropriate behavior by students. Teachers say some students have physically and verbally assaulted staff members. The meeting is set for November 11th. Now for a look at your weather, here's meteorologist Katie McGraw. It was a very chilly start to the day. Temperatures around the freezing point, even some areas below freezing into the mid and upper 20s. It's going to be a chilly day through and through, and many of us are going to stay dry with a mixture of sun and clouds. Up to our north and east, a slightly different story where you still have this chance for a few showers. Water spouts possible as well. So the tale of two forecasts, east versus west, we're going to stay dry to the west of Cleveland. But then along the lakeshore and to the east, is where we have the best chance to see a bit of a wintry mix. Temperatures, you miss the 60s. We've got them back throughout the weekend, staying dry, getting to around 60 degrees on Sunday, and then even warmer Monday, Tuesday, before rain likely returns midweek. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.